I'd first like to ask you about a quote that's been attributed to Abraham, and it's, I'm sure it's a part of a larger quote, and so maybe one sentence is taken out of context. But the quote that I read said that some of them will love you, some of them will hate you, and it will have nothing to do with you. But ultimately, doesn't it really have everything to do with me? Well, their perspective has nothing to do with you. Your perspective of their perspective has everything to do with you. But aren't I, but aren't I, isn't that all a part of my energetic mix be, that, that they're showing to me that I'm calling forth from them? Well, we see what you're getting at in the truest sense of law of attraction causing rendezvous. If, if you were really tuned into your vortex, really in alignment with who you are, then is it your belief that everyone would love you? Well, there would still probably be people that would not find agreement with the way so, I am or who but, I am. But, but that's, what, that's what the whole conversation is about. In other words, right. you cannot control the perception of another, but you can control your perception of their perception. And that's really, that's really as far as that goes. Right. In other words, we've never, we've never known anyone, and we've known everyone, <laughs> who was loved by all. Because someone out of the vortex is not capable of loving. Right. So, so what your question is asking for, is there a pure enough law of attraction that there could be no rendezvous? In other words, we, had this, we touched on this conversation a little bit uh, a few months ago where we were talking about going home for a family reunion. It's not exactly a law of attraction moment. In other words, you, you, you didn't go because you were inspired to go. Mm -hmm. You went because you felt obligated often. But even in that obligation, there's a law of attraction thing that is taking place. So everything is managed by law of attraction. And of course, you could not rendezvous with anything if you were not matching it in some way, which is the point that you're getting at here. Mm -hmm. But we wouldn't, we wouldn't spend too much time in this physical environment where you have so much to perceive if you are if you are here is the way we would approach it if we were standing in your physical shoes I want to be infinitely aware of the perspective and opinion and attitude and mood of my inner being and that is so dominant within me that the attitude, opinion, mood, perspective of everyone else is irrelevant by comparison. Doesn't mean I don't care about people. Doesn't mean I don't want the best for them. Doesn't mean I won't go out of my way to uplift them if I can. But it does mean I will not sacrifice my alignment for anything. And, and if you've got that in place, then your world will go well. Okay, so let me make that a little more personal as far as an experience I had last year. Um, where it, it was interesting to me that it, everything fell into place so easily yet the outcome was so painful. Um, last year, a good friend of mine um, was in the process of making his transition after quite a long illness. And I was made aware of that and decided that it was important for me to go back and to say my goodbyes and to be with his family. Everything fell into place, the airline tickets, the, er, everything, the time off from work, it all fell into place. And when I got there, it was pretty much like living through my worst nightmare. I was in, at his home the day he died. I was in his room minutes after he died. And I sat there looking around thinking, yep, this pretty much would be my worst nightmare. And it, went, it felt horrible. So if my inner being is always trying to guide me and lead me towards something, towards alignment, how does that so easily fall into place and yet be so horrible? How can I have what felt like a happy journey to an unhappy ending? Yeah. Well, tell us again why you went to say your goodbyes. To say my goodbyes. Um, to be with his family. To be with his family. Um, to it, it, it felt like the right thing to do. I mean, even even the to be say my goodbyes and be with his family even sounds a little less than what I'm really trying to say because it felt like the right thing to do. Well, doesn't it seem like, don't you find that there's power in, in any sort of determination? Sure. When you decide something, don't you feel power in it? And the power that you mostly feel in determination 
or decision is that you're not battling so much with yourself it's it's like here's here's the easiest way to explain this to you and you will settle into this comfortably we talk about how there is creation without being mindful of the vortex in other words sure. everyone knows that you can set a goal and that you can get a job and that you can be responsible and that you can show up for work every day and that you can you can become knowledgeable about what the work is about and you can develop good personality traits that bode well for you in the workplace in other words and and everyone knows that there, there are those who get ahead and that there are those who just don't try and we've been attempting to explain that about like when we talk about the economic pies and we say there's a there is a certain amount of economy that you're splitting up but there's this vortex pie that people aren't considering that is so much more while people are quibbling over the economic pie they are sort of depriving themselves of the vortex pie that could be so much more and in the same attitude we're saying of course you can work your way you can think your way you can set goals your way and and you can in the measurement of people measuring themselves against other people you can say that's a successful person and that's an unsuccessful person that's a person who tries that's a person who doesn't try but all of that is still action orientation that is a far 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 cry from doing real vibrational work so in the idea that I'll go because I want to be there I want to say goodbye I want to be there for the family all of that sort of still fits into the category of doing what I should do even even if it's something that I want to do on some level it we don't think that you were approaching that totally or at all very much at all from being inside the vortex True. and so it 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 your determination will carry things uh, Jerry has a friend who was very successful at one time one of the five wealthiest men in the country and he had a saying about well if you pull your sled far enough up the hill then you can have a nice long ride down meaning that if you persevere that then things will go easier for you later and Jerry quoted that quite often because it was something that he was sort of subscribing to early on in his financial career also that if you work hard and if you if you do the right things at the right time that it, it will make good decisions that it will set you in a good place for later on but as he began to listen to the things that we were saying he began to realize that there was a sort of contradiction in all of that which is what you're talking about here certainly action and determination is better than non-action and no decision but there's vortex work that is so much better it's a whole other league and it is our knowing that when you really thought about that if you'd gone general and you'd thought no one ever dies no one really leaves there really is no goodbye this is a relationship that is eternal I can rendezvous with the very deepest part of this person I can come into full alignment with who he really is I know so much more now about who I am than I did even when our relationship was at its fullest this relationship could be if I want it to be more than it's ever been before in other words you could have reached a, a, a place of true alignment and we believe that once you found that place that you would not have made that journey mm -hmm. right makes sense makes sense um, another question because what you were witnessing because what you were witnessing defies something that you really know it felt like an ending it felt like goodbyes it felt like something that shouldn't have happened it felt like miscreating in many ways it felt like a family that was suffering in other words for that the duration of that time you were there you were you were focused away from your source away from who you really are and what you really know and that is your worst nightmare right that makes sense depriving yourself of who you are that's your worst nightmare the other stuff could not matter less